everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I'm so happy to be doing this video for you all today because it is going to be my March favorites video and I seriously don't know what was going on in the month of March. I felt like it was kind of going fast and then it like completely slowed down. For me it was such a busy month like I had so many anatomy tests and pre-calc tests and those things literally take up like my life those two classes so I'm glad the month is over. I think I have one more month and then I am out of school for a little bit um, because I am taking summer classes so I get like two weeks off and then I'm lucky enough to go ahead and go back to school but um, it's only for half the half the summer term so um, I'll be done towards the end of June so I'll still have some time to relax and I cannot wait till I'm on summer break because I'm going to film so many videos you know because I have nothing to do so um I'll have more time to you know, make really good videos for you guys. Maybe I'll start doing like outfits of the days or like lookbooks and stuff like that because that's something I want to do. It's just to film a really good lookbook and everything. It does take time and time is not on my side right now with um, these classes. But um, hopefully um, I'll be able to you know do what I want to do um, over the summer and really you know put a lot of time and effort into my um, channel you know to really make it better for you all so um, I'm looking forward to that but I'm happy to say the month of March is over and we're on to April I just like the way April sounds a whole lot better than March I don't know April just seems like a happier month for me so um really excited about that and I do have a couple really good products that I've been loving in the month of March. Not too many. Um, I think some of these are repeaters from previous favorites videos. I can never remember. Um, but I do have a lot of new things which I'm super happy about. So I'm just going to go ahead and get right into it. So first things first is this. What is this? Josie Marin Argan Oil. And this is a little sample size and I went ahead and I got this in one of my Ipsy bags. It wasn't last month maybe the month before, so March, I don't remember, I would say maybe January or February, um, I got this, and as you can see, you get a fair amount, I have had this and use it like almost every single day, and I've hardly used any, just because it is like an oil, so you literally need a drop, and it will do like half your face, and I only do it like when I have like really dry skin, um, but this stuff is amazing, it does not break me out whatsoever, and it really helps like my dry skin, because like when I get dry skin, it's so stubborn, it will not go anywhere, it's just like scaly, like appealing lizard or something it's just so gross but um this stuff definitely helps out a ton so I'm so happy I got this in one of my ipsy bags because it is amazing then next thing I have kinda I guess to go along with like the dry skin stuff I went ahead and showed this product in um my Lush haul I did like a mini Lush haul and it is the ocean salt scrub and this stuff is amazing um I went ahead and about two weeks ago in the middle of March I went on um, a little weekend vacation and I went to the beach and I got so sunburn on my back just because I fell asleep in the sun and didn't have my sunscreen on so of course with a really bad sunburn comes a really bad peel so um, especially on my legs because it's kind of like spring and summer now and I want to wear shorts but with my legs peeling like a lizard it's kind of gross so um, this stuff definitely helps exfoliate the skin and just speed up that like I guess shedding process and it just makes my legs just glow and I think it's because she said there's um I think there is vodka and I want to say grapefruit lime lime is in here and both of those things are really good at breaking down dead skin cells and everything like that so if you have just dry skin or your skin is looking dull I would definitely recommend this product it's a little bit on the pricey side I think this to this um, container right here which is 8.8 .8 fluid ounces was $34 or something like that but it does last you a long time you don't need to use it every day and it just leaves your skin glowing which I absolutely love especially for your legs now on to face, I picked up this blush and I really, I don't know why I didn't have any but I never had a NYX blush before and I was at Ulta the other day and um, I went, of course I had to go to the NYX section and um, I picked this blush up and this is in the color PB13 and this is mauve 
and it's just this gorgeous pink color it is so beautiful on your cheeks very light just give you like that perfect natural flush of color and the consistency is great I think it is long wearing it is very pigmented and it's just awesome like I love like I think I love this blush um, almost as much as I love like my MAC blushes and you guys know how much I was raving about my MAC blush when I first got it and now I have two but they're kind of on the pricey side but I can definitely see myself easily getting addicted to all the NYX blushes another product that I have absolutely been loving this month is my elf golden bronzer and this bad boy is only three dollars which I think is an excellent price for a good bronzer and um, it's the one where it has like I want to call this a mosaic but it's just three separate squares and they're all like different shades of brown which you can either swirl them together and use them swirl together or you can take each individual color and use it as like a highlight like this one I would use for a highlight and then this um lighter brown right here yeah I'd probably use this brown this brown to like contour because um but this one's actually my favorite brown because I feel like this one is a true brown while these other two right here could look a little too orange on my skin tone just because I am so light so typically I'll usually use this one as my highlight and then this color right here as my um bronzer but most of the time as you can see like the focal point of it is like right there in the center where I'll swirl my brush so I do really enjoy using them all together as well and um, yeah it is a shimmery color it's not matte by any means but you know I am like the shimmer queen so if this could stand up straight so I absolutely adore this product I think it's really great and for three dollars you totally cannot go wrong and the other two things that are also um, I guess face related you'd use these for your eyes this is the Garnier ultra lift anti wrinkle eye roller and I like this one just because it has like this little metal ball in it and this when you put it on underneath your eyes it is just so cool and I feel like in the mornings sometimes I'll wake up I don't really have puffiness like bags under my eyes but I do have really dark circles but occasionally it'll be a little puffy if I haven't gotten a good night's rest and I think this really helps at reducing the puffiness um, I have heard some people will go ahead and put this in the fridge and then that will make it even cooler like underneath your eyes but I'm fine with just using it as is and I figured this would be really beneficial to use because you all know how much like when I do on um, my eyeliner I'm always pulling on my eye and creating wrinkles and breaking all the collagen and elastic fibers so total anatomy <laughs> nerd right there but um so I have been loving this stuff and I haven't seen like a dramatic um change or anything like that but that's probably because I mean sometimes I do forget to use it so maybe I need to like really work on using it all the time but feels nice on the skin and you hardly know it's there once you put it on so loving that then of course this could not be a favorites video if I did not talk about my holy grail mascara like the best thing that has ever happened in the mascara department and that is the L'Oreal telescopic shocking extensions mascara and I have a review on this I use it in all my tutorials that I've recently done it is just a phenomenal mascara um, I'm not gonna go ahead and talk about it too much in this video because I'm sure my favorites video is actually gonna be pretty long and um, I have a whole review on that so you guys can watch it if you want I'll have that linked down below and then moving on what else do I have oh I have this little eyeshadow quad and this is the L'Oreal Studio Secrets professional just eyeshadow and it's the Wear Infinite I guess collection but this is in the color landscape and I picked this up at Target because I heard so many people rave about these and um, it was actually marked down to only three dollars typically they are $5.99 at my Target but it was marked down to $2.98 so I was like for three dollars I can't go wrong and to be honest with you guys I've had a really bad experience with drugstore like palettes I guess or quads or trios or anything like that occasionally most of the time I do get good single eyeshadows but these ones I've just had bad luck with but when I pick this one up oh my gosh I am absolutely in love with it it is so good like I feel like you have a really good pigmentation the colors are not chalky they're long wearing really easy to apply gorgeous colors and I'm just absolutely obsessed with these so I think I'm gonna go ahead and try out a couple more in like different shades and colors and um to see 
if like they're consistent amongst them all and you do get a nice mix of like matte and shimmer most of these look like they'd be matte but um the only true matte one is this color right here and then all the other ones this one's also relatively matte but these two have a bit of shimmer in them but absolutely love them great consistency great color quality and just everything like that now on to a lip product I have been dying to get my hands on this lip product ever since I saw the first the collection first come out and it seriously took me months to find but I'm so happy I finally have it and it is from the Maybelline Vivids collection and I just love Maybelline lipsticks to begin with but when this Vivids collection came out I was like obsessed because they're all just really bright beautiful fun colors and this one in particular I have two from the collection but this one has been my super favorite recently and it is in the color shocking coral which I know on camera it shows up like a total hot pink but um, even on your lips it doesn't really show up as a coral it shows it mostly as a pink I'll go ahead and swatch it on my hand but just look at that color payoff. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I'm totally obsessed with it. The only thing though is if you are going to wear um, either this color or pretty much anything from the Vivids collection, you have to commit to that color. This stained my lips. I, I wore it to work, so I was at work for probably like hmm, five to six hours and I ate and I was talking to customers all day and I got home and I took my makeup off I used a makeup wipe I washed my face and everything and this was still on like it wasn't on as like vivid as obviously it is right now but you could still see it almost looks like I was wearing a like lip tint or something and I went to bed woke up the next day brushed my teeth you know everything and it was still on my lips so I'm telling you guys if you are going to wear this color you're gonna have to commit to it because it has an incredible staying power and just gorgeous color payoff, super pigmented, and you can't go wrong for $6. I think this is a great lipstick. The next set of items I have, this is more like getting into like the random category where I just talk about like my favorite food items for the month or um, music and stuff like that. And the two things that I have are actually from um, Whole Foods and I'm obsessed with these two things. The first thing here is the Yummy, or it's Yum Earth. But I think it's probably like yum e earth. Um, I don't know, maybe not. But these are the organic lollipops, and oh my gosh, these are so good. Like, I'm absolutely obsessed with them. They're pretty small, so I mean, they're not like um, jumbo lollipop size or anything like that, but they're about this big. And they come in so many super yummy flavors. You get like pomegranate, watermelon, strawberry, grape, cherry, peach, raspberry, and mango. And these are absolutely delicious and there's only, they're pretty healthy, mm, maybe not. Three, three lollipops are only 17 grams of sugar so that's not bad. But the thing that I love about these is that if you look here on the back, they are certified organic. There's no artificial dyes or like food colorings or anything like that. It's tree nut free, there's real fruit extracts, it's 100% natural flavors, it's 100% vegan, it's gluten free, peanut free, soy free, dairy free, fat free, and there's no MSG. So you really cannot get any healthier than this, minus the fact that there is about 17 grams of sugar if you eat three. Those are great when I am just having like a craving for sugar because they just completely satisfy my craving. They're absolutely delicious and I love them. And then the next thing is not so healthy, but I also picked it up from Whole Foods. And these, this is by the brand Three Sisters, and it's the Marshmallow Odies, which these are pretty much the same thing as um, Lucky Charms, except they're a little more on the healthier side. Um, even though these are sold at um, Whole Foods, what a lot of people like make the mistake of is they think, oh, it's at Whole Foods, it must be so healthy, all organic. No, there are some things in here that are still not organic, or not 100% natural, or anything like that. But these are on the healthier side because there's no like food dyes or anything like that in them um but there is still bad stuff like corn syrup and stuff like that but other than that there's corn syrup twice well I don't know there's corn syrup twice I don't know but um, I guess that's where you get the sugar from but there's only 13 grams of sugar for about one cup these are absolutely delicious love them these are definitely a really good replacement if you're not allowed to eat Lucky Charms or you don't want to eat Lucky Charms just due to like all the processed stuff in there and the food coloring and everything like that I would say these are pretty good because all the colors like they are purple and white the little marshmallows in here 
but that's because they have like blueberry and pumpkin and carrots for color but you you would never guess it's a vegetable so these are absolutely delicious and then the other thing is is this um, this company really benefits our earth because there's something about oh um, it's made with using renewable energy like the packaging and stuff and it's not it's in a plastic bag instead of like a uh, cardboard box so you're not cutting down our trees and everything like that so also a plus you get to eat a little bit healthier and save our environment at the same time so that is that and then my two music favorites for the month are this is obvious if you follow me on Twitter I'm absolutely obsessed with this song I must listen to it at least on a minimum 20 times a day and that is Justin Timberlake's Mirrors. Oh my god, that has to be the most beautiful song in the world and oh, I just cannot get enough of it. This is such a great way to, you know, make his comeback with these amazing songs. I went ahead and I have this album and all the songs aren't the best. I mean, there are quite a few that I don't like, but I mean, overall, it's a really good album and it's really refreshing you know compared to like what's out there and what the radio plays all the time you know and it's so nice that when I'm when I was looking for the um the music video for Mirrors Justin Timberlake came up instead of Justin Bieber you know I mean that kid is going crazy I don't know what his problem is recently but sorry if you guys are Bieber fans I am a Justin Timberlake fan so um just an amazing song so beautiful I'll have it linked in the down bar so you guys can just find easy access to it and then the other song which I'm sure we have all heard and is so popular and it's, it's such an awesome song I just love it is um, Heart Attack by Demi Lovato I have all of her albums and I was waiting for her to release her newest one and I can't wait for it I think this was a great first single for her um, off of this new it's one actually I'm trying to think I'm pretty sure that is everything I wanted to talk about in my March favorites video um, I originally thought this was going to be a short video, but now that I'm looking at the time, no, it is not going to be a short video. I have been filming for 22 minutes already, so we'll see after editing how much I can cut down, but nonetheless, I hope you all really enjoyed this video. I was so excited to see you no know, film my March favorites, so glad we're moving out of March and into April, and I only have one more month about of school before I have a little break, you know? And I hope you all really enjoy this video. And of course, as always, I thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my videos. It means so much to me that you guys um, are watching them. And of course, if you haven't subscribed already, please do subscribe. You can click down below. It is 100% free. And it will just keep you up to date whenever I do uploading new video. And yeah, so my Tumblr, Twitter, Instagram, all those links are also down below if you guys are interested on following me on those um as well. And as always, I cannot wait to talk to y'all in my next video. Bye!